this Don from Third Creative and uh, wanted to make another video. This will be number two. Uh, this video is going to be on my Rojo Baseball Double Image Template. Um, I decided to do this one because I've gotten a lot of praise but also a lot of emails and messages with questions. Um, apparently it's a little advanced or uh, a little difficult to uh, manipulate and change colors and uh, there's a lot of layers so it can be a little bit overwhelming um, I decided to go back and kind of reorganize it uh, hopefully make it a little more user friendly um, so I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough um, on this one use a couple different images kind of go through each of the folders and explain how everything works and how to change colors and just how to uh, manipulate it the way you need to to work for the, the images that you're using. So something I plan to do with uh, my other templates. It's going to take a little bit of time, but we'll kind of go through one by one. Um, I know my templates are, I guess, a little bigger, a little more complex. I've kind of battled with this a little bit. Um, apparently. I guess some of the templates that people are used to uh, using are a lot simpler, meaning less less layers, uh, maybe even as little as eight or ten layers. And as much as I like the idea of simplicity, uh, you know, I definitely want things to be user friendly. I don't know. I personally think I'd rather have more creative control. So having more layers can make it maybe a little more overwhelming at first, but if you see how they work and you kind of go through step by step, um, it'll give you the control that I would like and hopefully you would like, um, you know, to make it, uh, make it work for you. Um, but anyways, let's get started. Um, I've got two images that I pre-selected. Um, I did a boxing team uh, recently. I just had two images that would work for this. So I picked them. Um, and we're just going to go through folder by folder uh, and kind of explain everything. So I guess to get started, um, I'm going to point out this layer or this folder that I have. It says bottom player here. Now I've already dropped them in there. So I'm going to open that up. This is the existing one, uh, Matt Turner. Let me turn him off. And uh, I've got Braylon cut out, and I've got him dropped in there. So we're going to use this. And uh, we'll jump down to uh, this one that says top player. Well, let's fix that right now. Now it says top player. And uh, kind of same thing. I've got Matt visible now. We'll get rid of him. We'll turn Braylon on. But anyways, these are the folders that you'll drop your two images. Um, top player image here, bottom player here. Pretty self-explanatory. So now we need to uh, personalize the text and uh, or customize it. The colors, the text, make it work for uh, Falls Town Boxing and for, for this. So uh, let's start off at the bottom. This first folder is called Background. And inside it, you have a few layers. Now the very bottom background layer is black. And right here, you have a color overlay. So I think it might be default set to purple. Yeah, it is. So if you want some color in your background besides black, you can use this. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, purple isn't going to work. So let's go, with, uh, let's go with the red here. It needs to be really dark, though, I think. Okay. So I'm going to pick, I might come back and change it, but I'm going to pick something right there. So obviously that looks really funky. We got a ways to go, but uh, one step at a time. The next layer above it, this is a levels adjustment. Now I've labeled it vignette because that's the effect that it that it gives you. 
Um, so if you turn that on, you can see how it kind of darkens the edges, which is what I want. Um, in this case, you can actually double click on it, open it up. You can um, kind of lessen the effect if dragging this to the left, or you can increase the effect dragging it to the right. And you can tweak it, you know, to your liking. And um, you'll also notice it has a layer mask on it. So obviously we're all familiar with layer mask. The white is what you see, the black is what you don't. So if you want to actually go in and kind of change that, um, soften it up, increase it, decrease it, you can go in with the soft brush and manipulate that however you want to. So we've got that. In fact, I think I'm gonna go back looking at it now and make this just a little bit darker. I want it really dark, just a hint of red. There we go, we'll work with that. So the next layer in the background folder, the last one, um, top glow, and it says change color. One thing I should probably mention is um, on this template and something I'm gonna to try to do moving forward is uh, make all of the uh, layers where you can change the colors, tag them as blue. You can probably figure it out just by looking. It's got this hue saturation, um, smart filter, but it just kind of makes it easier to find everything where you can go in and change color. So we'll turn it off and you can see at the top it changes. So you may not want it. Um, you can turn it off, you can turn it on, but this color isn't working. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. So I'm gonna double click on hue saturation down here. Let's play with it a little bit. See what it does look. I think we want a nice deep red. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. It may not be uh, exactly how I were, would do it if I were gonna take my time and this was gonna be something I was actually doing for Braylon, but my last video was pretty long. So I'm gonna try to speed it up this time. Um, let's see, next one we have background smoke layer. So you can just turn it off and see what it gets rid of. I've got the smoke layers into two different groups. This one is behind everything. And you can uh, adjust these. So this first one here is a white glow. You can see what it does. It's white, you leave it alone. There's no color there to, uh, to change, but this one, up here up top does have color in it. Right now it's kind of an orange. And I don't want that. Now you could desaturate all together, which I think you kind of lose. Yeah, you lose it all together if you do that. But you can control how saturated it is. But in this case, I'm gonna go real high just so I can see it and try to get it to be a little more red. Right in there. Okay, let's bring that saturation back down. Keep it what it was. All right, we've got another white smoke, no color. It's very subtle. And you can move these around, you can turn them off, turn them on, however you like it. Uh, next one is another smoke layer on the top. It's a pretty big one. So if you turn that off, you lose a lot. And uh, even though there's not much color in there, you can change the color. So if I increase the saturation, you can kind of see it come out. And let's see. I don't think I want to turn everything red or it'll just blend together. We'll kind of see, that's really saturated. We'll just kind of see what looks good. Might even go completely desaturated. In fact, I think I'm gonna try that starting off. All right, so that's all of them. That one looks a little bit orange still. And if we darken it, let's try that. A little better. Okay, so that's it for that folder. Next one, top player image. We've already covered that. Um, next one, we've got smoke bottom. So if you turn that off, you'll notice it... Uh, controls a lot of this bottom smoke and glow. And uh, this has a layer mask on it. Now, I have it on, but for some things, you might wanna leave it off. 
So if I disable it, you can see how it kind of swoops out here. And that may be a look that you like or that you want. Um, you can turn it back on and obviously you can manipulate it however you want. So if you want to change it up, you can get your black and white brush and go in there and reveal or, or uh, hide whatever you want. But let's get inside here. First one. Now you see you got a lot of a lot of layers in this one. This is kind of what I was talking about. I could merge all of these together and make it simple, but um, you can't control the colors on each different layer like you can leaving it the way that it is. Um, so I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, let's start off. Let's just turn them off. We'll go through one by one. Kind of show you. There we go. So this bottom one is a light flare. And you can just barely see it in there. And let's see. And I'm going to actually desaturate that one. Some of these are super subtle. This one's not. So this is a fog layer. And there is some color in it, but it's not drastic at all. In fact, if I bring that all the way up, you can barely tell. It's just a hint. I'm going to leave it like it is. Another fog layer. Kind of subtle. Uh, let's see. I think this is another one with very little color in it. No? It's got some color. So let's change that. I'm not going to leave it that saturated either. Bring it back down. Wow, you can barely tell now. So only if you bring it all the way up can you really start to notice it. I don't know how much we want there. Wow, we'll just leave it like that. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Okay, this one's a white one, so there's no color. Turn it on, turn it off. This one kind of sweeps down all the way from the chin area up here, all the way down to his feet. Next one, colored smoke. A lot of color there. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's bring it up just to kind of see what colors we're working with a little better. So that's purple all the way over there, pink. Back into purple, so red, right in here. Like it. Now, too saturated. Bring it down. Starting to look pink. We don't want pink. Pink will not work. Darken it up. Yeah, that might help. Bring it down. Saturation too much. Let's roll with it. Keep it going. Next one. This is another colored smoke. We'll turn it on. That's pretty uh, pretty vivid there. Let's see what we can do to get it red. There's some red. Pretty bright. I'm going to darken that up a little bit with this slider here. A little less saturation. And next. Got a few more. This is the big one. Not this layer, but this whole group. A lot to uh, go in there and adjust. So this is another colored one. Now you might want a little bit of a warm glow there like it's set to. Even though there's no yellow in his uniform, sometimes that'll work out good. I might just desaturate that all together probably. See what it looks like if we do go red. The one I'd probably darken up a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. I don't look too bad. And the very last one, uh, it's another one with very little color. In fact, I think I will just leave that alone. Um, obviously, you know what to do if you want to play with it. Double click here, select all the others. Uh, let's see. Next one top and middle text layers. Here we go. So referring to the top, I've got Varsity up here, 
in the middle. So we've got this logo here. So let's, uh, let's see. He's not in school, so, well, he might be in school, but this isn't for school, so we're not going to use varsity. Um, he is um, in the heavyweight class. Oops, I'm actually doing the wrong. Oh, goodness, how did that happen? Now I have to edit that, but that's okay. I'll fix it right, right now. We'll use this one. When I was preparing, apparently I changed it from a tux layer. Good catch. Uh, always something, always. Thought I had this thing ready to go. Come on, get off of there. Move for me. There we go. Let's get it centered up. 16 inches wide, so we want that center dot right there on the 8. No, I don't want it too high. I get covered up. They frame it. So his head's actually going to be covering up part of it. Might need to move him down. I'm probably going to move all of that down a little bit. Now, I don't want this to look the same. I'm going to turn off the stroke, the gradient. We'll leave the drop shadow on and let's change. No, we'll leave it white, but we will bring the opacity down. And let's change this to heavy weight. Actually, I centered this up before I changed it. Heavy weight's pretty. Pretty long. Have to reduce the size a little bit. That's probably good. And let's center it up. Okay. Now, if their head's in the way, you might have to move this below the top player image layer, which isn't a big deal. If you bring it down here, and it'll be behind. And you can reduce the opacity however much you want to. I like that right there. So heavy weight. Uh, let's get back up in here. So we got the team name Big. Now we're gonna have to play with this a little bit. Uh, he he fights for Falls Town Boxing, so I'm gonna go with Falls. Town. And that's obviously going to be way too big. So we'll go up to our character. And I like to just drag it down. I could, I could click on the corner and do it like that. Hold down shift. That's what I thought it was. Okay, now hold down shift. There we go. Go to Falls Town. Go. Let's bring it all down a little bit so it's not right up on his chin. Let's try that. Now, I've got, you can probably tell I've got a gradient in here. I've got a stroke with a gradient. You can see over here in, our pan, in my uh, layers panel all the stuff. I've got bevel, stroke, gradient overlay, and I've got an outer glow. So I'm just going to go through these and make sure they're working. See, this is kind of warm, and I don't want that. Let's change that to white. This is the outer glow. It's very subtle, but it's there. All right, next we've got gradient overlay. Let's double-click that, see what we're working with. Black to gray, that works. You can change it to whatever you need to. Stroke is going to need to be changed. 
So we've kind of got a busy stroke here. Let's move this where we'll be able to see it as we're working on it. Okay, so what's going to work good here? Let's do a red, obviously. Let's try that. It's pretty dark, actually. It's kind of This needed to be darker. Right there, get rid of that one color, come all the way to white. Okay, like I said, I'm kind of zipping through this. I might play with a little bit more, but you can kind of see what it's doing there. Change it however you like. We're going to go ahead and move up to this text layer. Let's bring it down. It's obviously not. A baseball player so we're gonna put boxing and I might make that a little bit bigger go up to character here make it a little bigger try to get it where you can see all the letters here center there go right almost even with the eight like so Bring it down so you can, you can tell what it says there. Let's change the colors up a little bit. We'll leave the drop shadow. We've got a gradient overlay. That's what we need to change. So I think I might go just desaturated. So same thing, but bring it over here. Same thing on this one. Now it's really bright, so Let's actually bring it down a little bit darker. Now that's the opposite. We want the bottom to be darker. So get rid of this here. There we go. All right. Plugging right along. We're just about done. So next layer. Got bottom player. Now we've already figured that out. Um, I've got a mask on here, and this is how it worked well for the first image baseball. For him, I think I want to change it. He's holding a belt, and you can't see it. So working on this mask, I want to reveal. So I'm going to paint with some white. And let some of that shield show. Shield. Belt. That's better. So any of these masks you can play with, make them work for you. Very last uh, folder here, we've got the bottom text layers. So we'll open it up here. Um, this says bar slash line. That's this little line right below the name. You can use it or not use it, whatever you want to do. Um, you can change the color. I'm going I'm to desaturate it all together. Do it gray. All right. Um, 17. Boxing, they don't really have numbers. So, yeah, we'll get to that here in a second. Uh, let's see. Senior. I don't know. We may not even be able to use all of these. That's okay. This isn't for high school, so let's get rid of senior. But obviously, same thing. You got a gradient overlay here. You can change it. You can uh, type junior, freshman, sophomore, and whatever works. We're going to turn it off. 2016, we're going to use. And let's uh, let's go with open this gradient overlay. Let's go with just gray to white on this. I think we need to make it bigger since we turned varsity off. Let's make it bigger. Center it up. Get 
Okay, and that's pretty, pretty cool. Now, this has a stroke. I've got it turned off. Let's turn it on. Very subtle. We might need to zoom in just to look at this. Let's open up that stroke. Let's change this to red. Maybe that'll pop a little better. We don't want warm. Let's go red to white. And let's make it a little bit bigger. You can see it. Change it maybe outside. No. Inside, all the way back to center. I think I like inside. And we've got the opacity dropped out. That's part of it. Increase the opacity, make it stand out a little bit better. Okay, so now we got the name. This gentleman's name is Braylon Brooks. Let's get this centered up here. Almost. Close. There we go. Colors obviously don't work, so we're going to go in. Now you can turn that stroke on if you want. Right now it's off. Gradient overlay is what we're going to start off with here. And I think I'm going to go back to desaturated. I think that's what will work good for this. There we go. And we can make it match with the stroke. So what I can do Speaking of making it match, let's go into this stroke. And uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Is it center? No. Possibly, but load. New. Yeah, new. There it is. Now let's go back down here. See if it's in there. Sure is. All right, so we got them to match. And now down here, we've got a little light flare. You see it up here on this number. Turn it off, turn it on. We're going to turn it off because we're going to turn the number off. So right here, we've got uh, a texture. That's this diamond plate texture. And it's clipped to the numbers. If you don't want it, you just turn it off. Um, and then we have the number here. We're going to turn the number off completely. And there you have it. Now you can do a lot more uh, modifications if you want to. Um, just a few things off the top of my head that I might do is try a different text right here. That was a good baseball text. It's actually a good boxing text as well. But... Um, Let's see. Okay, so fast forward through all of that font searching. I finally settled on this font, which is a, uh, what is it called? EA Sports. Let's go take a look here. Yeah, EA Sports Covers, SC. I've used it several times. Um, but this is the final image, and uh, hopefully that helped. Uh, this is something that I plan to do, hopefully, eventually, for, for every design that I have out there. Um, there's a lot that I threw up on the store initially that I guess need to be maybe streamlined a little bit, uh, cleaned up a little bit. But as I do that, I'm going to put out a video, a walkthrough video, so you can see 
from start to finish how everything works and hopefully that will help um, but as you can see this is a pretty versatile template there's uh, all kinds of possibilities and for those of you who know Brian Evans at Game 7 Sports Photography he is probably the the best example that I can think of of someone who has taken this template and uh, just really maximized all the uh, possibilities that he can with it. He has used it for anything you can think of, band, wrestling, uh, tennis, cheerleading, football, basketball, baseball. Um, he's really made it work and he's not afraid to change things up. He moves things around. He'll add elements. He'll take away elements. Um, he just really knows how to make it work for him. So hopefully you can do the same thing. And uh, thanks for taking the time to check this out. Stay tuned for more videos as they come. I think the next one up is the uh, highly anticipated reflections tutorial that everybody seems to uh, want. So I know that's uh, something that people have been asking for. So that's going to be up next. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me, checking it out. Until next time.